Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, August 23rd, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great evening and you're ready for a Friday session that is all about Jerome Powell. Um, anything could be possible today um, during um, or after his comments from Jackson Hole. So let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, um, Asian markets last night, we had um, mostly lower, um, but only modestly lower for, as a matter of fact, uh, Australia was down 0.04%. Um, the Nikkei was down 0.22% and Hong Kong was down 0.16%. So pretty light on the move. Shanghai was up 0.20 and the Nikkei um, had the best of it up 153 points at up 0.40%. So kind of a mix, but really it was a hurry up and wait session. If we take a look at European markets this morning, they're all pitching for a good report out of Jerome Powell this morning. Uh, nice and bullish with the DAX up 0.60%, the FTSE up 0.29%, and the CAC up 0.54%. So everyone is looking forward to it. And here in the US, we're reversing selling that came in yesterday reversing that in the pre-market this morning, trying to pump it up with a whole lot of excitement for that potential that he could sound dovish. We'll talk about that in a minute, but right now markets are very bullish and pushing back up trying to reverse yesterday's move. If we take a look um, at uh, the oil sector here this morning, oil bounced around um, a bit here yesterday, but ultimately finished just a little bit higher. And right now we have oil futures up this morning, um, 82 cents at 73.83 a barrel. Um, but we do have that concern of those lower demands. Um, We'll want to watch that pretty closely because we are seeing the economy slow. As a matter of fact, there is an economist out this morning that, uh, well, I'll just read you the headline um, if I can find it again. Um, a recession is coming in the U.S. and a few rate cuts won't re prevent it. Um, so I don't know if they're right, but um, there are folks that are believing that we are heading into recession and um, maybe or maybe not um, the rates will help us out in the short term. If we um, take a look at that um, oil sector though, they're really trying to push this back up here this morning, get something going in oil. Brent is up uh, point, uh, 0.79 um, uh, cents on the day at 78.01 a barrel and natural gas is moving lower here once again in that inverted head and shoulders top uh, pattern bottom that we were talking about in here uh, may be fading away so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Gold and precious metals here this morning. GLD, we've got GLD moving back up. It's pretty hard sell off yesterday. Came down, found some price support, ended up with a little hammering pattern in here. And you can see those bulls trying to push back up here this morning. We've got silver also recovering pretty sharply after yesterday's selling that came back to test some support. And if we take a look at copper, copper is holding in there FCX, at least a copper miner, holding in there after pulling back yesterday, holding on to su some support and maybe building that inverted head and shoulders pattern. So kind of keep an eye on FCX. If we were to see those buyers step up in here, that could be interesting. And uh, let's take a look at Palladium. Uh, Palladium also had a pretty strong pullback yesterday and you can see gapping up here this morning. Um, if we take a look at cryptos this morning, um, we had a rough day in cryptos pretty much right across the board with some uh, pretty good selling there in Bitcoin, uh, down about $1,000 a coin. And this morning we're reversing that as well. If we take a look at like BITO here, 
trying to push back up in that consolidating move in here and we are up eight hundred and twenty three dollars a coin here at the moment um, and um, green across the board here and so what that must mean is if we take a look at the US dollar, all of a sudden we're seeing a big um, a move here in the US dollar. Um, that happened yesterday, actually that big move in the US dollar. And what that was is our bond yields were going up um, yesterday. This morning, um, they haven't really moved. We've got the two-year bonds at the at four percent. We've got ten-year bonds at three point eight five percent, and the thirty-year bonds at four point one two percent. So it does kind of make you wonder what in the world um, if the bonds are holding in there. Why are we getting suddenly a big bullish surge here in the pre-market? But that's what's happening here. So as the dollar strengthens, we'll want to watch carefully for that continued possibility of those pr uh, precious metals and commodities to fall. But if you look right in here, the bid ask right now on um, UUP is back down here um, as if it's uh, almost completely reversing here this morning. So watch that closely and I would look for some volatility here on the day. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at these charts without that bias. We want to look at them as for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Well, taking a look in here, as you can see, we do have this very interesting pattern in here and um, a nice little consolidating um, rest here for the last few days days, albeit quite volatile, heading into this number. And you can see it really wouldn't be all that hard to see that if the bulls can get the dovish Fed to pop through that resistance in the chart. But at the same time, if the market happens to be disappointed by what the Fed says, it wouldn't be all that hard to see that possibility that we could move lower as well. So if the bear bulls find inspiration, look for them to pop this area here in the chart and then maybe start stretching on up here for all time highs. And I know that's what everyone wants to see is there's just a huge hyper um, hope that the rate cuts are going to turn everything around magically here in the market and make all the labor problems and stuff start to go away. But history would tell us that when the Fed starts cutting rates, we usually get a little bit of a pop out of it to the upside. And then we start moving lower because one of the reasons the Fed cuts is there's something wrong in the economy. So kind of keep that in mind. If the bears were to find inspiration here today and push that down through that level, well, then we're going to just start moving back down in progression um, here in the chart um, and we'll see if we can pass on through and maybe even come down in to fill this gap if the bears were to really get going and when you look at this pattern in here no one would be any surprised if we have a little rest or consolidation coming up in that chart even if we pop through here temporarily if we take a look at our spy spy also very bullish here in this pattern here holding in this nice consolidation and we can see the exact same thing here that if those bulls find um, inspiration here today they could pop that resistance right there and move right on up and, and test um, all-time highs here in the chart and I think there's every reason to believe that's possible however and, and then beyond that of course we have blue sky above here on the spy if the bears however find that inspiration we can also see that real possibility of a retest of this support right in here and a possible break of that we would start moving this back down so no guarantee on what Jerome Powell is going to say and there's certainly no guarantee on how the market's going to react once he does 
Um, if if I were to guess, Jerome Powell is going to say we're probably getting closer to a rate cut. Um, September is probably on uh, for that rate cut. He doesn't like disappointing the market, but he certainly is not going to lean into this dovish thing. He's going to say something like, well, we're still data dependent. We've got to wait for the data. We've got a full month before we make that decision. Anything is possible. Um, and I can't imagine he's going to say anything more than uh, that and just really um, tell everyone that, oh, we're just going to cut with both hands. Because if he does say that, he's going to show that he's in panic uh, mode. He's worried about the economy and the market will get jitters over that as well. So watch this carefully for that possibility uh, here in the chart. And then if we see the QQQ, QQQ, trying to bounce back up here this morning. Um, interestingly here enough, uh, QQQ is the one that's lagging behind the most and really had the roughest day yesterday. Big old bearish engulfing candle in here on that. It didn't rebound all that much yesterday. So if those bulls were to find inspiration, well, first thing we got to do is we got to get back up through some of that resistance here in the chart back above this little trend break that we have had and certainly i think that's possible today and if those bulls can continue to push then let's look for this resistance test right in here to see if we can push through that level and if we do then we have that opportunity that we could fill this gap up here in the chart coming up to test this level of resistance beyond that of course we're looking to try and stretch out toward all-time highs if the bears however find inspiration well we can certainly see that it's not that big of a leap here um, if Powell happens to disappoint the market and we push back uh, down through this level watch that carefully here in the chart um, if we were to push back down and we kind of push on through these levels um, to the downside and by the way it really wouldn't be a big stretch right here as you can see to see another test of that 50 day moving average here in the QQQ could be a possibility and you know continuing the consolidation here would be a healthy thing if we take a look at our IWM old IWM just kind of resting in there had a little bit of a rough day yesterday as well bearish engulfing but we've got this little consolidating um, um, action in here so if the bulls find inspiration breaking through that resistance right in there is where we're likely going to be and then seeing the push up and see if we can test the underneath side of that big old black candle that started this mess here in the market and pushing on through there we'll come up here into this area of price resistance and then we'll start progressing up through here we've got a ways to go to get those all-time highs here in the Russell if the bears however find that inspiration um, again it's not all that hard to see here in the chart a push back down to test that support and a break there well we start progressing on down and maybe working into fill this gap in here back down at this uh, bigger area of price support that runs all the way back over to 2021 and 2022 so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at our vix our vix yesterday had a little bit of a bump up um, but nothing major if if i were to pull this back and draw a line down across these tops you can see what we did is we came up here yesterday we tested that resistance right in there and we tested this resistance right here closing the day up about 17 and a half handles um, probably shows us that uncertainty here on the day if the bulls find good inspiration um, on Powell's speech, then I would look for a push back down and maybe even a test of this uh, yesterday's low and maybe even some support low uh, levels of earlier this week in the VIX. If the if the bears were to find inspiration here, well, you can see we've got some room to move. If we do um, push up, you can see we've kind of broke that downtrend. So maybe we come up here and fill that gap over here um popping up in there and then 
some more resistance up here in the chart. So watch carefully for that. And it could get painful if those bears were to become very inspired here. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but we should be prepared for that possibility. And then if we look at our T20s, our T21-22 had a nice little resting pullback yesterday. We were due this, we were overdue this, and uh, finally got that little resting pullback. But no damage was done here. As a matter of fact, all we did is really consolidate, and that relieved some of that pressure. So if the bulls find that inspiration today, well, we've got that opportunity we could pop up here and um, be right back up here in the bearish reversal zone um, with a good push today and i think that's every every reason to believe that's possible if the bears were to find inspiration however we want to make note that we still have a big opportunity to the downside if jerome powell happens to disappoint us and we'll see um, who knows what he's going to do and how the market's going to react. Let's take a look at our um, T2108. Percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average pulled back yesterday. But I don't see any problem here. This was just a rest. We pushed up here toward these resistance levels in the chart. And we just been stretching, stretching, stretching market decided it just needed a little bit of rest and pulled back. Um, no particular concern here. We've got resistance above, we've got support below. So uh, bulls are in control at the moment and Jerome will make the decision whether they stay that way or not for Friday. If we go into T2107, very same thing. Just a resting pullback yesterday. No major concern in here resistance above support below and bulls at the moment remain in control and if we take a look at t2101 well not a big surprise as we were waiting on jerome um, as i mentioned yesterday probably a hurry up and wait day um we ended up with a little breadth pullback but no concern here either this is still very much in the realm of control of the bulls and we're still seeing massive corporate buyback activity happening probably uh, um, the, the buyback activity is actually more than anything that's happening in retail um, right now so big activity going on in there if we take a look at um, um, some charts that could be setting up. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's take a look at that economic calendar. That economic calendar today, well, this is what we'll be up against the Jackson Hole uh, speech from Jerome Powell. At 10 o'clock, we're going to get new home sales in Jerome Powell. Everyone's going to ignore this unless something major happens in new home sales. And you can see they're expecting uh, by consensus for that to move up ever so slightly. So keep an eye on that in the new home sales. And then, it's, of course, it's Jerome Powell's day. Um, and after after we get through that, however the market reacts is anyone's guess. And then we've got a Baker Hughes rig count and not much else going on here to um, inspire for the day. We'll start thinking about what comes next in the market pretty quickly after we get the Powell reaction. If we were to take a look at our um, earnings calendar here today, well, there's not much there either. Um, for notable earnings today, I've only got one, and that is DKE. They will be reporting here before the bell, so already seeing a little bit of reaction lower, um, which is something kind of becoming common in a lot of the retailers. Um, not getting a lot of bullish move after some of their reports. So kind of keep an eye on BKE this morning. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. Um, and um, uh, I want to wish everyone just um, 
um, uh, uh, <laughs> all the best for, for the support that you show the um, um, Right Way Options channel. I, I, I really appreciate that and, and um, just can't um, can't tell you how how um, how much I appreciate it and I'm hoping that all of you are getting something out of this and improving your trading. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. Remember, everyone, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market and make sure you're paying close attention to the volatility that could spike up really quickly. Follow your rules and your trading guidelines. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at a few stocks. I did add some um, an alert in here yesterday. I had an alert to uh, Caterpillar. And I love this nice little uh, tight consolidating resting pattern in here. For those of you that have never been into the right way options trading room on just a couple of things, I basically trade um, two simple patterns in the market. First off, a reversal from a downtrend like this where we push up, hold a higher low, and I'm waiting for those buyers to step up. This is a pattern that I call the pop out of the box pattern. You can find videos on that on YouTube. But I'm looking and waiting for that pop that could come in here on the chart. I don't anticipate it and I don't predict it um, because this ha certainly has the potential that we could set up like this and then the market get disappointed and pull back. So I'm just watching and waiting for this. If that were to pop, then looking for my potential entry into Caterpillar. Doing the same thing here on CMI and you can see that resting pattern in here brought in those bulls and push that right on up. So keep an eye on that. That's that same kind of pattern resting back, consolidating after a move up and there you have it. There's the results of a trade like that. You can also see the same thing here in Spotify, resting, consolidating, and then pop through. And here we are resting again. And I'd be looking for that next opportunity that this would pop right on up through here and continue to stretch out if we can find that bullish um, um, pattern in the market. If we were to take a look at McDonald's chart, there it is again. Isn't that something? These are patterns that repeat themselves over and over and over in the market. And you can see that possibility that we're resting back right now and could set up the next pattern here in McDonald's. So keep an eye on those. If um, you um, have any interest in what I do, we'd love to have you come over and check us out in the Right Way Options trading room. And you can get a trial for a month for, I think it's 49 bucks for a whole month to be in the room. Um, and, and by the way, I'm on the microphone. Um, we do at least two hours of training every day. So that's just in itself, 10 hours a week in that potential training, uh, training to help you improve your trading results. Let's take a look at um, some other stocks uh, that may be setting up in here. First off, take a look at the, um, 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 TAP. TAP has been bouncing around in here, bouncing around in here, bouncing around in here. But we've seen these defensive sector stocks continuing to hold up and even gradually moving to the upside. I would watch this now crossing back up in here, a um, little rest um, the last couple three days. I would watch for that opportunity. If that bullish inspiration comes in here, then that next move on a tap might be coming around. Take a look at Disney, um, not diamonds, Disney. Disney is one I'm paying attention to. There's that pattern again, where we push uh, through this downtrend and now we're just kind of resting and consolidating in here. I'm looking for that opportunity that that may pop on through and start coming back around to the upside. So keep an eye on that, looking, um, looking reasonable that that could occur here um, in the next few days, possibly even today. Keep an eye on Disney. Um, other charts out there, and there are quite a few to be paying attention to. And there's even some that you might wanna be paying attention to on the short side of the market. Uh, but if we take a look at W Day, W Day had its earnings yesterday. Nice little push here, and you can see pushing up here in the pre-market 
any rest or pullback, I'd be keeping an eye on WDAY. Take a light look at INTU. INTU, little stutter going on here after its earnings yesterday, but there's that little downtrend break right there. So once again, we've pushed up little downtrend break any rest in here sets up that potential opportunity of that higher low and we uh, begin an upside trend here in into it so keep an eye on that maybe an opportunity coming there um, things like um, lift lift actually setting up that potential of a short you can see we've rallied up into this downtrend and we're consolidating here underneath that downtrend but the reason i say this may still have that shorting opportunity is first off we we see these patterns occur a lot underneath a downtrend like that so this is just the reverse of what i showed you on the bullish side anytime we're still underneath that downtrend i have to favor the downtrend because how many times does it have to fail along that line before I believe it's true? And um, so there's no way I want to predict this is going to break to the upside. I'd be watching this for a pushback. If, if, however, it does push through, it's up here where I want to be looking at that chart for that entry long into the trade. So keep an eye on those. We also have um, some things like uh, Tesla. Tesla had a pretty rough pullback yesterday. Notice that broken downtrend here. We broke back through, we pulled back. That was kind of a painful pullback yesterday, but if it can prove to hold in here, hold that higher low, look for that opportunity for those buyers maybe to step up there in that chart. Um, take a look at Shopify. Shopify resting consolidation right up against this resistance here in the chart. Now this is stretched a long ways to the upside so perhaps it needs more rest against all of this resistance but it's another chart that I would be maybe putting some attention into watching that closely for that next opportunity to the upside. Um, let's take a look at stocks like uh, Valero. There are stocks that are showing all kinds of short and Valero is one of those possible head and shoulders pattern here in the chart. We try to get up and through there. That's why we don't predict those moves. We wait for them to prove whether they're going to hold once they push up and you can see this is obviously shown um, a little bit of a problem here. So watch for that opportunity. Any of this rally back that comes back into this resistance, I would look for that next potential opportunity for a short there. So there are quite a few stocks out there that have those potential short looking patterns in the chart to be paying attention to as well. So remember, when we're really stretched up here in this short term move, well, maybe um, tighten up those stops. Um, look for some of those patterns that could be on the short side just in case the market starts to roll over. You can take advantage of that move. Don't just put on the rose colored glasses and only see one side of this market because you can be severely disappointed if, for example, we start to see a little bit of pressure come into the market from the Powell speech or maybe, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news kind of thing uh, coming around here in this market as well. Take a look at Airbnb. There's another potential one of those short pattern setups and not looking very healthy overall. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Wish you a wonderful weekend and I'll see you right back here bright and early. Monday morning. Have an awesome day, everyone.